Trekkers, Trekkers, and Gadget Freaks, welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. What's going on? Well, check it out. Last week, AMD released all of their latest lineup of video cards, including the Fury X, to a very, very eager audience. Now, at that time, it competed pretty much head and head with the GTX 980 Ti. Hmm. But now, on the heels of that is brand new information. What's that information? We'll check it out. New drivers. Catalyst 15.7 Omega drivers. Now these Omega drivers are supposed to bring great performance for all of the latest cards from these folks over at AMD. So you people out there who are going, hey, that last driver wasn't too happy, well check it out. Omega is here and it's bringing a lot of things to the table that'll hopefully bring it not only great gaming in Windows 10, but also just bring gaming all the way around better performance with their latest cards. So right off the bat, what did you guys think of that teaser system of the Blue Fury? Right off the bat, I wanna hear a comment. I want you guys to hit that like button like a crazy bunch of psychopaths if you're digging the way this system is going. Now check it out. Last week, AMD released their brand new line of video cards, a whole bunch of new cards, including the Fury X, which actually a very eager audience pretty much accepted. But the game is going to change just a little bit. Now, last week, all of the things seemed to test like, oh my God, it was just barely keeping up with the 980 Ti. Oh my God. Well, Windows 10 is now hitting the table. And Windows 10 is gonna be DirectX 12. A lot of people are going to be going, oh, I'm jumping on to Windows 10. I myself am going to do it just as well. I kind of skipped the 8.1 and all that stuff, but all right, with Windows 10, I'm caving in. Now with this brand new driver, which is codenamed Omega, Oh, it's actually 15.7 Catalyst driver. It's going to address all of these things and it should bring all the performance with the Fury X and all of these AMD cards, much better performance all around. So real quick, let's just talk about this new 15.7 driver, what it's bringing to the table and why you AMD fans should uh, check out down below and uh, download it for yourself. Windows 10 is in the now, and AMD is ready to integrate their products into Win 10 friendly environment, and the Catalyst drivers are ready to roll out right alongside with the launch of Win 10. If you missed my video, the Fury X, some of the things that we talked about were FRTC, or frame rate target control, which allows the user to throttle back in the card's usage when the card's frame rates exceed the refresh rate of the monitor, allowing the card to cut back, therefore saving power and allowing the card to run cooler. But let's say that you have a super duper high-end video card, but your monitor doesn't quite match up with the refresh rate. So you can actually push that video card to getting 110 frames per second, but if your monitor only has 60, well, you can only really see 60. So it's just a waste of time. And throttling back on the card will actually overclock that card because it'll be using less power. So therefore, it's kind of a neat little thing. How it exactly is gonna work and how well it'll work, well, we'll see as time goes by, but it is interesting. There will also be updated FreeSync support, which like G-Sync, allows you to set your VGA card's refresh rate to match that of your monitor. So pretty much it'll set your frames per second at 60, just like your monitor's refresh rate at 60. This will eliminate all screen tearing and allow your game to run much smoother. The Catalyst 15.7 driver offers support upgrades from any GPU from the R9 260 and above, and for APUs from the 7400K and above. But what if you're not a gamer? What about if you're a software developer? Does the Catalyst 15.7 driver help me? For those who need support for that avenue of application, AMD's Code EXL 1.8 will help software developers by allowing a host of options, including OpenGL shader, CPU profiling, Hass profiler, and more, as well as the AMD GPU Per Studio 3.3, which is a GPU performance analysis and debugging tool for gaming and graphics applications. All right, folks, so there you have it. AMD's latest driver, the Omega Catalyst 15.7, has now hit the street. So you guys can download that and see for yourself how much performance gains it's gonna to bring to the table for you. We've got it in-house. We're gonna retest our Fury X and see how they do and see how much performance you get from Catalyst 15.7. But you guys can see, it seems like AMD has really thought this driver out quite a bit. Uh, they've kind of got their chest out and pounding it right now. This driver saying, we are back with our driver. Hey, all the information will be down below. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you're not subbed, do it. See ya.